Hey y'all, hey. <laughs> so I just came to tell you I had a wonderful freaking birthday. I just woke up, so please forgive me. <laughs> hey mommy, can you see the camera? Look, <laughs> you see that baby. <laughs> anyway, so I had a wonderful, 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 wonderful birthday. It was really good it wasn't a milestone birthday or anything but i don't know just to feel loved is always nice for a birthday my hair's a little rugged now but of course as you can tell it's fucking bomb fucking lit lit beyonce times 10 yes times 10 but i really just came because on my birthday i don't know for whatever money reason because a lot of times we already be tapped in. Like, it's not a lot of stuff I have to consciously think about, right? It's just the shit that'll come to you. So, for me, my journey in 2023 really has been about financial stability, investments, just planning for that future. Especially in the age group I'm in, you know, you start to really look, okay, it's not that much longer until I'm, like, technically halfway through life. Which I'll be halfway through life now. I mean, some people don't make it past 60, 70, 80. So, hey, that's a thing, right? So, uh, my theme for my birthday as far as, like, just my outfits, the mood I was in. Because that whole investment, money, that whole thing had been my theme really all year before my birthday even came. So, when my birthday came, um, my theme was green. Now, as you know, Capricorn is Cancer's opposite sign. And that's why I said a lot of this was intuitive it, it wasn't really thought out it was just things I did because that's where I was at in my mind frame and in my life so for my birthday what I did was a lot of green not even thinking like the full moon and Capricorn is coming up so that 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 reinforces the theme of business government time related things like when we talk about investments for the future like if you guys think of when you retire and get you get your Medicaid, your Medicare, your pension, you know, just whatever things like that, investments that come in when you're no longer in working or when you're at an age where you really want to be able to relax, enjoy yourself, take care of your health, and live out live the years of your life that you that are left um, healthy and happy, and not having to go out and work, you know, so hard. Who's going to be doing it after about 60, 70, you're 60 years old, and we really should not have to work till we 60. 50 is enough because I think 50 is a, a lot of people don't live to 100. So I think 50 is more than halfway through life. So, I mean, at 50, it should be over. Like whatever things, I mean, they should make people mandatorily save $10 a week so that when they're 50, they can retire at what any job you had. Because if you save $10 a week, I mean, it might not be a lot. You might can't live off that retirement, but that's where you have to make other investments and choices or whatever the case. So anyway, back to the point. Green was my theme. So, like, I had my nails green. I had my toes green. It, it wasn't conscious. So, it's not like I was making a point to do everything green. It's just what it was. So, in my dress, it was like a beautiful dress. And it had green in it. And there were, and that was just the theme I was kind of pushing, right? Like, green was my color. And I don't think I've ever had a green like this on my nails. And I love nails and hair. So, I've had it in every color, style, whatever you can imagine. So, I had read something, like, yesterday or today. Well, when I started doing, like, my full moon stuff and posting stuff about that on my strategy pages, I realized I was telling people, yeah, like, it's, it really is a money and investment time. So, I was writing thing with the full moon and the time that it is. And then I was reading something today just talking about how, oh, what I was talking about, longevity, Capricorn is Saturn. So, it's about investments and things that have to do with long longevity and aging and time. So, um, I had read something today where somebody else's take on a full moon was talking. They literally said investments, um, you know, and things like that. So the point of this video is in cancer season at this beginning of July is a time for you to really invest, make things happen and plan for the future. That is what the Capricorn full moon is about. And that is what the July, um, cancer, cancer sun, cancer season and Capricorn moon for moon is really about is business investments strategy 
even like your family, like what are you doing to secure your family, um, business, um, you know, your legacy in the world, your legacy and make a name for yourself. And even if it isn't making a name for yourself, it's at least securing your security. Okay. So I need my coffee. I'm on my way to Starbucks, which is probably why I said securing your security, but it makes sense. And you get it. <laughs> you see me? Give me paw, Ruby. <laughs> Ruby, give me paw. Can that paw? Show them. Give me paw, Ruby. Ruby, give me paw, paw. Give me paw, paw, woo. Give me paw, Ruby. I think she just realized she's on camera. <laughs> Rudy, give me paw. Can that paw, baby? Can that paw, mama? She don't want to no more. <laughs> she thought I was holding my hand out for you. I probably missed it, but. Now she's getting all shy. Actually, she's not shy. She's a Leo. Her birthday is August 1st, so now she wants camera time. But I need coffee. I'm out.